Hi, I'm Heather from House to Home, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this rope into this beautiful basket. Welcome to Pin It or Bin It, the show where we trawl Pinterest to find craft projects that look easy, but are they really? We're going to test them out. For this basket, you'll need some embroidery thread, a long length of cotton rope, sharp scissors and a darning needle. So first it says I need to cut a length of thread that's as long as possible without it going to be getting tangled when I'm doing it. So I'm not sure how long that's supposed to be, so I'm just going to guesstimate that it must be, I don't know, about there. So I'm going to snip that off and then I need to thread my needle. Um, it says use a darning needle, so that's what I've got. Okay, see so if I can do this. Oh, no. And try again. There we go. And then I need to knot the end. Voila. Then you need to make a tight little coil, apparently, with this rope. And then push the needle through to secure it. Oh, that's hard. Hang on a sec. Oh, there it is. Right. Can I pull that out? I'm going to use my teeth. Don't do this at home. There we go. Then we just carry on with the coil, but like sew a stitch in each one so you're securing it in place. So let's give it a go. I think you're supposed to like catch a little bit of the rope next to it and alternate stitches so you're going like over one piece of rope first and then over, the, over two pieces of rope. Quite impressed with this so far. Uh, yeah, this is not too bad, although I am thinking this is going to take me a really long time to make a whole basket. Right. And you do this until you've got the size that you want the base of your basket to be. Oh, and I'm running short of thread. I'm not sure what I do when I get to the end of the thread. Let's just see how I get on. I'm going to go round and round like you do when you're sewing, like my mum taught me when I was sewing, and hopefully that will hold this bit of thread in place. There we go. Snip that off. Right, let's get going again. I reckon I need that base to be just one more round, so let's see if we can quickly go around there. Oh, I'm not sure where that's come from. There, pulled it off, it's fine. So I reckon that's probably big enough for my base now. And so then you start building these layers up. So you're sort of creating the walls of the basket. So I don't know, let's just give it a go and see how we get on. Okay. So I'm just gonna sort of raise it up a little bit. And then carry on my stitching. Okay, so now I reckon I've done enough of that to switch colours to the yellow. Chop that off. So I think this is just exactly the same with the yellow thread um, as it was with the pink thread. So I'm just going to carry on going through. I am not loving embroidery thread right now. This is like a complete knot. I've lost the end. I will be happy if I never do another project that involves threading a needle this many times. Let's keep going. Right, I think we're ready to finish this. So, apparently all you do is cut the rope at like an angle. And it's going to fray as soon as I do this, I reckon. And then... You just take your needle and thread over the top of that to secure it in place. So I'll just keep going over there. It's definitely fraying a bit. I'm sure I can tidy that up by sewing over the top of it. Okay, one more. Sometimes where you've done the knot, there's bits that's sticking out as well. So I'm going to cut those off as well. It's a little bit lopsided, but 
That is definitely a basket and I think that's not too bad. I could imagine putting cotton wool buds or trinkets or I don't know, my rings in there. So I am going to declare this one a pin it, win it.